Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Strikers. And I've also realized in my past episodes, I accidentally forgot to do the tarot reading because those were episodes where things were actually happening like I promised. So I'm making up for it with a triple reading for the last three episodes that didn't get tarot readings and then we're going to have a big unveil of this video's uh tarot card reading and my cat's now on my desk i'm hoping he doesn't ruin the cards so in this tarot card reading the three cards are strength right side up temperance upside down as well as star upside down so these three yeah 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 already he's making a mess uh these three cards each one of course has a different meaning and we're going to go about them with the tarot reading right here so strength uh strength predicts the triumphant conclusion to a major life problem situation or temptation through strength of character if it is very happy uh, if it is a very happy card if you oh it is a very happy card if you are fighting illness or recovering from injury so having it right side up i got a good card apparently on that episode uh because right side up it means confidence enjoying power inner strength potency self-belief virility and vitality or temperance if it'll load there we go. Uh, this card indicates that you should learn to bring about balance, patience, and moderation in your life. You should take the middle road, avoiding extremes, and maintain sense calm. Being that I got it upside down, uh, upside down means disharmony, imbalance, lack of patience, onset of illness. And then finally, the star tarot card. <clears throat> Uh, right here, its meaning is when the star card appears, you are likely to find yourself feeling inspired. It brings renewed hope and faith and a sense that you are truly blessed by the universe at this time. Sadly, I got it upside down, which means despair, disappointments, illness, missed opportunities. So what's funny is strength is supposed to be like a card that could be good meaning you are recovering from illness and then i got a card that <laughs> represents illness when it's upside down how wonderful i was healthy and then i was sick so what do i was sick with i don't know i'm probably sick in the head uh but anyway this card we're drawing right here ah okay this is a different card it looks like we've drawn the hermit we have the hermit card so let me take a look here quickly what the hermit represents i should have probably drawn oh, drawn this card but i figured i'd do it while you guys are right here the hermit suggests that you are in a phase of introspection uh, where you are drawing your attention inwards and looking for answers within you are in need of a period of inner reflection away from the current demands of your position. And I drew this upside down. And that apparently means exile, loneliness, misfit, sadness, withdrawing from loved ones. Let's, uh, let's start the episode. Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome to another episode of Persona 5 Strikers, um, where we are going to be continuing off where we left off. And where we left off is we have been finishing requests as well as getting the knowledge we need to know what exactly caused the trauma that turned this novelist into a really big dickhead. And, little did we know, he was surrounded by dickheads, who was his editors, and now he became a dickhead himself. But hey, sometimes that's what happens with people, and that's what's going to happen if you're surrounded by such things. But we're going to send our calling card 
and we are going to kick his ass. Yes. Understood. I will entrust Zenkichi with this calling card. Regardless of what drove Natsume down this path, he has been gripped by vanity, turned to evil. If he cannot see the distortion in his heart, then we will lay it bare. I like how Yusuke talks. So refined sounding, or at least that's probably not the, the right word to choose, but I'm not the best when it comes to either uh, fashion Mr. or Natsume. anything like that. Oh. <gasps> I'm gonna make sure I don't use my lead finger. I'm gonna use space bar. Good morning. I see there's quite a crowd today as well. Uh, yes, about that. What is it? What? What is this? What? Well, when the staff came to open the store this oh. morning, it was already like this. Oh, I thought that was actually part of the stand, and then I noticed all the, um, the, like, red and black circles. That's from our calling card. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is, to preserve the crime scene. To the ostentatious swindler, Mr. Ango Natsume, you are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work, finding your own pockets all the while. We refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you wear a false crown. Tonight, we take back the desires you've stolen. <laughs> Honestly, how stupid can you get? Damn it, what nonsense! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal! That is, as long as I hold their desires. No. Having those desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty! I won't hand them over. I won't give them up! You foolish heroes are nothing but talk. Come then, I'll crush every last one of you! Ooh, someone's a bit mad. I'm feeling steam in this room. There's salt being sprinkled all over my floor. All right, his cognition should be changed now. Thank you for all your help, Mr. Detective. <sighs> and with that, I've officially become an accomplice of the Phantom Thieves. What are you complaining about? You're the one who proposed working with us, remember? Morgana has a point. You're the one who wanted to work with us. You could have just, instead of working with us, watched from afar and did your own little, like, surveillance or something. But no, you wanted to think, oh, working with them will be the best scenario for this whole investigation. Congrats. Now you're working for us. As a reward, I'll try to start calling you Zenkichi instead of Gramps from now on. Okay? Inspector Hasegawa is quite a mouthful. Yeah, Zenkichi's good, don't you think? <laughs> I like that, they're like bribing him with his own name. Okay then, from now on you're Zenkichi-san, alright? I'm looking forward to working together, Zenkichi. Oh, fine, whatever. You've already dragged me along this far, damn it. Now then, the desire should have materialized at this point. It's up to us to take them back and return them to their rightful owners. And in doing so, we'll set his distorted heart straight. Let's do this. So, what's also happening, um, IRL, um, there's also apparently supposed to be a storm happening, so I'm hoping I don't lose power, because I want to get these recordings in before that happens. But you guys should, uh, by the time I'm recording this, is actually the day that I had a video upload before and another one scheduled to upload around 10pm. So you guys should have content to enjoy and hopefully the, the day after the storm it'll be fine. But I'm just hoping tonight will be fine. Anywho, let us go. We are going to Mount Aoba and we're going to do some ass kicking. Let's go. We're taking back those stolen desires. Yes, we are. Yeah, Natsume won't know what hit him. No, he won't. And we're off! 
Okay, here we go. I also found ways around the little, uh... Ooh, uh, the little problems with the music. And that is by making sure to do cuts between the music. So I'm gonna do that Check now. out that statue what that the hell? totally ate it. And hey, doesn't that remind you of how we got to the top in Shibuya? Ready for round two? Are we literally gonna climb the chains again? Alright, I guess here we go. We're gonna climb the chains. Where look Looks like the desires materialized. Go get them, guys. Okay, here we go. Let us face against the overlord and dethrone him and break his crown while we're at it. What the hell? That's a weird thing to have hanging. You certainly took your time, phantom thieves. Or should I say, chosen heroes? About time we met, eh, Mr. Overlord? We're gonna give back all those desires you stole. Yeah, we'll take them off your hands. <laughs> Such foolishness! You haven't the slightest idea of what you've just walked into. I mean, I walked into your room. Appearance. It stands. This is no doubt the Overlord from Prince of Nightmares. He certainly gives off that impression, but weren't the Fearsome Four just dressed like normal people? Yeah, thinking about it, those guys didn't get much love from the author, did they? You've come all this way only to fall right into my trap. This world belongs to me and me alone. It takes shape solely according to my desire. Here, the Overlord rains justice upon the holier-than-thou heroes who would dare brand him as evil. Here, you are nothing more than flies to be swatted. We'll see about that. I'll enjoy hearing those filthy screams as you atone for your transgressions. Bold for someone who stole others' desires just to satisfy their own selfish wants. Yeah. If, if you're really the Overlord, ain't this the part where you get your ass kicked? <laughs> Tell me. How many of my demon brethren have you slaughtered while spouting such despicable hypocrisies? Quite a lot, actually. I slaughtered quite a lot of your guys, including the Fearsome Four. One of them beat the hell out of me, but I came back and kicked his ass after. Wow, this guy's reading right from the handbook, isn't he? Enough of this. It's time we fought. No matter how brave a facade you put on, it's clear you're just afraid of losing that hollow throne you're so proud of. What was that? Ooh. Your reign is not but an illusion. Allow us to show you the truth. Here we go. Oh. I'm sick and tired of everyone looking down on me. Yes, the time has come for my true power. You wretches shall witness. My final form! Wait, he's going straight to his final form off the bat? Oh, wait, no, Alice did that too, actually, yeah. Holy shit, he's a golden dragon. His eyes look very weird on that model. Like, he has normal looking eyes. I would expect, like, dragon esque eyes. Those are normal looking. You ignorant whelps dare to challenge the great overlord himself! Oh, wait, no, I know this! I will feast upon your bones! Okay, yeah, he has a little bit of, like, dragon esque in, in those eyes. Just a little bit. I was expecting more detail then, but, eh, that's fine. Holy crap! How do we stop him from doing that? Gotta slow his momentum. Can you target his weakness and knock him down? I was born nightmares blacker and darker than so darkness. There we go. Watch as I unleash hell. He's got the advantage okay. when he's in the air. Oracle, is there anything we can do? Over there, no sword stuck in the ground. Use those to turn him into a pin cushion. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's why you're the. Oh, let me dodge 
you dick! Okay, that guy was being an ass. He wouldn't even let me dodge. Uh, where's my revive? I know I have one. Uh, here we go. I only have one this left. Sorry. Foolish you! The least I can do is grant you a peaceful death. <laughs> I've done it. Ah, I need him to get closer. Please allow me. All yours. Yeah. You make me lose my ass. His buff's gone. Time to put the hurt on. I'll use this. <laughs> Kinda wish we could break the tail. Slowly breaking him. Ah! Okay, Ducky! Showtime! Jack Frost! Yeah! Take that! Whoa! Looking cool, Joker! Well, Joker, I knew you could do it! Fox, you don't have much stamina left! Conserve it! Ah, oh, no, 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 no! pretty strong! What? What's happening? But it happened again, and I like it. Those with talent are always being dragged down by those without. How can you be so ignorant? I don't know, but your armor's looking less magnificent now, isn't it? Philip, you have no right to say such a thing. Are you suggesting I have no talent? Please allow me what talent you bring to death. Stealing others work for your own selfish yeah. interests. Cast <laughs> away both your soul and your heart. Keep it going! Keep it going! You're just like them! I'll do it. You're just like those bastards who denied me! You think you're better than me? I'll show you how wrong you are! I'll let you know the great overlord! No, you don't. You're not painting that. His armor is slowly going from gold to silver. It's up to you. You're not getting your way as long as we're around. Yeah! Ah, his armor! So even that golden coat of yours was a shell. What's the very cool? Seems everything's finally been revealed. Time to finish him off. Ah, oh, dang it. That's a ticket. Good thinking, Joker. Good job, Joker. Way to follow up, Fox. That was well played. Do it, Yuzuke! Such beauty. Go, go! Oh. 
Yeah! The great overlord defeated! Okay. Archangel has learned a new skill, Dazzler! Morale boost. Okay. I don't know what that does, but I'm gonna read that sometime. Game over, Mr. Overlord. That's right. Game over. You lose. <laughs> Accept your defeat. Well, wait. We can rule this world together. You can have half. <laughs> he was standing behind the oh, my mantle. My magic armor! Oh, I like that he was standing behind the mantle of himself. <laughs> Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Is that his true form? Looks like it. So in the end, even his identity was just a cheap imitation. It's over, Uncle Natsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids! You don't know how much I'd suffer! It's not too late for me! I've still got my reputation as a writer! I've won an award! I've sold books! It's not too late! It's never too late! And that's good enough for you? <laughs> this fame you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others... Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? I... I mean, I... Damn it! Damn it! I tried. I really tried. Just like everyone else. I read and read all through the night. I wrote hours on end like my life depended on it. And for what? Nothing I wrote was ever mine. It was just another work from Sogo Natsume's grandson. No one... No one ever acknowledged my effort. My effort? Not my work? Not even me! No matter where I look, all I see is a bunch of thoughtless idiots. Slaves to appearances and nothing more! Acknowledge me, damn it! Acknowledge Ango Natsume's efforts for once! I just want someone to see that I really tried! I do. Huh? It's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. A life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one. No matter your profession. You are battling that loneliness. You braced yourself. Pouring your very soul into your writing, bringing it to your publisher time and time again. I will gladly acknowledge such effort and determination. <laughs> there are many out there who would give up that battle, even those of exceptional skill and creativity. To be able to continuously bring life to new works without giving up, however, that is perhaps the most exceptional talent of all. There was once a time when you kept fighting. That is one part of your career that could never be labeled a fabrication. So start over, Ango Natsume. Claw your way back up from nothing and move forward. After all, there are some things that simply cannot be painted without a blank canvas. <laughs> it is because everyone believed in me that I was able to choose the path I walk today. I stopped lying to myself, and was able to begin anew. So it is now my turn to pay it forward. Even if I'm the only one in the world to do so, I will believe in you. <sighs> Stupid kid. Talking my damn ear off. But... You're right. This identity of mine was built on nothing but lies. Don't need it anymore. Oh, he broke off his own horns. I'll do it. I'll climb my way back up. 
and I'll do it on my own strength. I'll write a novel that'll capture the hearts of countless readers, just like my grandfather before me. I'll write something I can be proud of. To everyone, I swear it! Good. And I'll be looking forward to the day I get to read it. <laughs> you know, I really am stupid. How did I let myself forget? I know now what it is I really wanted. <sighs> the cage is collapsing. Come on, we're leaving. I'm glad we don't have to do any, like, escape scenes where we're on a timer, because I feel like that'd be a little challenging. But it would be interesting also. But I, I'm, I'm glad we're just cutting straight to it. <sighs> Looks like it's over for now. Cage of Vanity conquered. Mission complete. I wonder if everyone's desires have been returned yet. Probably. They all went flying out of the cage, after all. I want to see for myself. Yeah, actually, I do want to see for myself. I would like to, because last time we thought they all flew out, then request was added, like... Well, not added to the game, but it's part of. it was part of the game, but it was added to our list of things to do, which is requests, that apparently one of them wasn't free, and they were taken by a random shadow. So yeah, I want to see for myself. Maybe we should check on the people back in town, just to be safe. Good idea. That said, the jail didn't disappear this time either. Now I'm sure of it. Jails really aren't the same as palaces. Well, we can worry about it later. Indeed. Let's go. Hey. Hmm? I feel as though I'm restless right now. Do you know what this is? Uh... Yeah, I feel like that would mean, like, something's maybe bothering you. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's wrong. Natsumi tried his hardest. But somewhere along the way, he lost sight of what mattered to him. He is a strange person, Natsume. Yeah, I'd say this is a new start for him. Yes, he did say he would climb back up. Yusuke said Natsume lost his way because he was alone. Whenever I think about that, I feel restless inside. Even though Natsume hurt a lot of people, and was, for some time, one of our enemies. What is this feeling? Uh... Maybe it's sadness? Sadness? Is that what this is? I see. So that's why Yusuke saved Natsume. It was because Natsume's reason for doing all those terrible things was really sad. I think I understand now. Sadness can hurt people, but it can also save them. It can give humans a reason to support one another. Couldn't have said it better myself. You can count on me. Huh? Okay. Oh. We should probably get going. Ah, she was just humming anyway. Oh, I so still you know wonder how why I was all that. excited for the Tanabata festival that's coming up? My boyfriend says he's already got plans. Oh, by the way, did you ever finish reading that manga I lent you? I got someone else who wants to borrow it. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it worked. Yeah, doesn't look like anyone's talking about Natsume anymore. Then, all is as it should be. Attaining fame through some deceptive power doesn't fit his image. This wouldn't have been possible without you being there to open his eyes, Yusuke. And doing that awesome finisher right there. I wondered if, like, um, Anne could have done that on Alice's end, too, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if, like, Anne would have been able to do one 
too. Like, because I just did the the showtime with Yusuke, and all of a sudden it was different instead of, like, the regular one. But, I don't know. Actually, no, I think that's just, like, that's how their showtime is, depending on Persona. So, I should sometimes see what other people's, like, showtimes look like. They, that was really cool, what Yusuke did with their Persona. You really took charge today, Inari. He was a real hero. Yep. Chosen hero Inari has restored peace and harmony throughout the land. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. Ooh. Evading an enemy at oh. However, we're not finished just yet. We must confirm whether the change of heart was a success. For now, we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. <coughs> oh. Well, since we've got some free time, can we unwind at a bathhouse or something? Oh, I'm totally beat. Good idea. We can freshen up a little before we head back to the car. You heard him, Sophia. It's all you. Okay, I'll find the best bathhouse in the area. Ah, oh, almost level 20. Hey! It went from Friday to Saturday, just from beating him. Sendai Press Conference Venue. Oh! Thank you, everyone, for coming. I've called this press conference to give an announcement, as well as a formal apology. First, my novel, Prince of Nightmares, was recently bestowed the honor of receiving first place in the Sokaisha Awards. I have decided to give the award back. I've also decided to recall all published copies, not to mention take the necessary steps to refund everyone's money. I'm sure you all want to know my reasons for doing so. The truth is, my book, Prince of Nightmares, only won because of my status as Sogo Natsume's grandson. In short, the competition was fixed. In addition, I've also stolen the work of countless other authors, word for word. Lastly, the story I told about writing to inspire a hospitalized girl was nothing but a lie to garner sympathy. This fabrication allowed my book to sell a number of copies it nowhere near deserved. I wish to apologize for this scandal, and I'll start by personally seeing to it that everyone who bought my book is refunded. I promise, my writing career ends here! I am deeply sorry for all that I've done, to all of you! Uh, hold on, Mr. Natsume! Uh, what do you think you're doing? Oh, it's one of the dickhead editors. Hey, time to wrap it up! Get everyone out of here, now! Please, don't interfere! This is my way of taking responsibility! Hey, something doesn't seem right here. Mr. Natsume is the one who put this thing together, right? Do you think the editors were just trying to profit off Mr. Natsume's family name? Mm-hmm. Uh. Hey! Uh, uh, who, who are you? I will not allow this. You... You're the one from the party. I'm so sorry for what I said back then. I will not allow you to cower and run away, Ango Natsume. You intend to make a comeback, do you not? Huh? When you do return to the literary world, I want to see a book with your name on it, not your grandfather's. <gasps> you are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? We'll be waiting for it. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Where are they supposed to be? Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories. No matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope 
I can one day save someone's soul the way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. Sheesh, you kids are something else. Barging in on a press conference like that? Hey, he needed some words to tell him not to, because he did say before he wanted to crawl out and get back to it, but then he was about to give up again. Yusuke just wanted to make sure he kept his promise. My apologies. It was imperative that I speak with him. Eh, it's fine. Alright, well, I gotta run. I have to go question Natsume. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't end with just an apology. Senkichi's really doing his job. It's almost like he's an actual cop or something. I am an actual cop. Anyway, it won't take long. So go on and wait for me back at the car. Guess we should get rolling then. Right. We'll leave the rest to him. Do you have a moment? Mm hmm? Something about Natsume's been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. Nothing will change that. However, was he really like Matarame? Can he truly be called evil like the palace rulers we confronted in the past? Had he simply ignored his editors, would he have strayed from his path? Or am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone who pursues the arts like myself? What do you think? Hmm. Honestly, yeah, I don't know. Like, in my opinion, he actually is, in a way, innocent. He was working hard on his work, and because of what his editors said about him that he found out, it just, it just greatly scarred him that he ended up tearing himself apart until he grew into an ass like them. So I honestly... Yeah, I'd say he wasn't a bad guy. He was... So you think so as well? Then... What is the purpose of these jails? Oh, well. I suppose there's no point in thinking on it right this second. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. Let's go. Looks like everyone's headed back to the camper. We should go too. Right. We're going to head back to the camper for the next episode. Because I'm actually all out of time for this episode. So, we finally beat the Overlord. Which means we're done in this city. And we're going to be heading to the next one. And I'm curious to see what happens in the next city. But of course, unless something actually happens, I'm not going to like do the whole tarot card thing but you guys already know that i want to do it when there's action happening so with that being said and indigestion holding my throat thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did leave a like and of course for all you new viewers don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto the channel and as always i'll see you all in the next video Take care. All you please have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye, everyone!